In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the earnings per share and diluted earnings per share for Amazon.com for the second quarter of 2018. So I've got the income statement here for Amazon. And so here's the quarter ended uh, June 30th, 2018. And then it also has the same quarter from the year before. I'm just going to focus on 2018. So we've got a net income of $2.5 billion. Okay, Remember, these amounts are, are in millions. And so to figure out what is the earnings per share, we're basically going to be spreading the net income among the amount of common shares. But it's not quite that simple. We can't just say, well, how many common shares are outstanding as of June 30th, 2018, because we want a weighted average during the period. There might It might have been in the middle of the quarter that Amazon issued more shares. So if they issue more shares, then what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a weighted average. And so Amazon tells us what is the amount of weighted average shares that is used to, to calculate the earnings per share. And so for 2018, it was 486. And when it says basic, that's just the standard earnings per share. We're going to talk about diluted as well, but let's just start with the basic. Okay, so we're going to take the net income, and that again, that's that $2.534 billion. And then now we're going to subtract preferred dividends, but in this case, Amazon hasn't issued any dividends. So we don't need to subtract anything here. So we're just going to have the net income divided by the weighted average of common share. So 2,534 divided by 486. Okay. So this again, this is in millions. So that's 486 million shares. And we're just going to use the basic. Then we'll get to the diluted later. So if we take 2,534 divided by 486, that gives us 5.214. And we're going to round that it'll be $5.21 a share. That's the basic earnings per share that Amazon had for the second quarter of 2018. Okay. Now, with the diluted, you'll notice that the number of shares, the number of weighted average common share, this is actually higher. This is higher, and the reason is, is that when we're talking about diluted shares, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same formula to calculate the earnings per share, but we're going to have something added to the denominator. Okay, this bottom part we have some additional shares. It's uh, so in this case, it's we're going to, because we're using something called the Treasury stock method. And let, let me just explain what this means. So, the basic idea, and I've got a video on this if you want to learn more, is that Amazon has some people out there who have stock options, and they could exercise those stock options. And if they exercise those stock options, Amazon might have to issue some additional shares of common stock to be able to give those people the stock. Because when they say a stock option, they say, okay, look, let's say the option says, all right, you can purchase a uh, stock for X number of dollars. They pay that amount to, to Amazon, but maybe that the, the real price is higher than X, right? The, the Amazon has to go out on the open market and buy the shares, or maybe they have some shares in the treasury, whatever the case. I don't want to get lost in the details here, but Amazon might have to issue some additional shares. So if it issues additional shares, then the weighted average common shares will go up if those people exercise the stock options. We don't know whether they did or didn't. We're just saying that there could be this dilutive effect. By dilutive, we mean that earnings per share could be lower. So we just calculated this $5.21, but we're saying, what if those people with those stock options actually went and exercised those stock options? How low would this earnings per share go? Okay, and if there's also, not to make things too complicated, but some companies will have convertible bonds that can be converted to equity, and then that, there could be also an effect on the numerator and the denominator. Uh, Amazon didn't note that in their disclosures. They just they just said that there were some stock options outstanding and they used the treasury stock methods. We don't have to worry about that here, but just FYI for future reference. So the number in the denominator is, is larger than before. Before it was 486 million, now it's 500 million. As we're saying that, okay, if these people all exercise their options, Amazon might have to uh, issue some additional shares. Then they could have as many as 500 million shares outstanding instead of 486. And if we increase the denominator without affecting the numerator, then that's going to decrease the earnings per share. And so it's going to be 5.068. And Amazon, we just round that, and it goes to $5.07. So this is the diluted earnings per share. So just to summarize, Earnings per share is $5.21 a share. 
However, if the people out there holding stock options for Amazon stock were to exercise those options, then the earnings per share could go as low as $5.07 a share.